As an Advocate system owner, you have chosen one of the best blood glucose monitoring systems on the market today. This training video, in conjunction with the owner's manual, contains important information about your system. While watching this training video, we suggest you use your owner's manual to follow along. Blood glucose monitoring plays an important role in diabetes control. The results you get with the Advocate TD4223 system can help you and your healthcare professional monitor and adjust your treatment plan to gain better control of your diabetes. When testing your blood glucose, make sure you have all the items needed to test. The blood glucose meter, test strips, the lancing device, and a sterile lancet. To reduce the chance of infection, never share a lancet or the lancing device with anyone. Always use a new sterile lancet. Lancets are for single use only. Avoid getting hand lotion, oils, dirt, or debris in or on the lancets and the lancing device. Before starting, wash and dry your hands. Step 1. Set the lancing device. Screw off the cap of the lancing device. Insert a lancet into the lancet holder and push down firmly until it is fully seated. Twist the protective disc until it separates from the lancet. Replace the lancet device cap. Turn the cap until it is snug but not too tight. The adjustable tip offers five levels of skin penetration. Twist the adjustable tip in either direction until the number lines up with the arrow. One to two for soft skin, three for average skin, and four to five for thick or calloused skin. Slide the ejection cocking control back until it clicks. If it does not click, the device may have been cocked when the lancet was inserted. The lancing device is now ready. Set it aside for later use. Step two, insert a test strip with contact bars end first and facing up into the test slot. The meter turns on automatically and displays the following sequence. CH and the test strip icon, ambient temperature, date, time, and a small flashing black icon. Step three, get a drop of blood. Select the puncture site either in the finger or as shown later in other parts of the body. Clean the puncture site with 70% alcohol cotton and let it air dry. Hold the lancing device firmly against the side of your finger. Press the release button. You will hear a click indicating that the puncture is complete. After penetration, discard the first drop of blood with a clean tissue paper or cotton. The first drop of blood usually contains tissue fluid and serum which may affect the test result. Choose a different spot each time you test. Repeated punctures in the same spot may cause soreness and calluses. Gently squeeze the punctured area to obtain blood. Be careful not to smear the blood sample. The volume of blood must be at least 0.7 microliters. Step four, apply blood into the test strip. When the small black icon is flashing on the screen, Apply your blood to the absorbent hole of the test strip until the confirmation window is fully covered with blood. It is important that the blood should completely fill the confirmation window before the meter begins to count down. The meter then begins to count down automatically. Make sure you don't push your finger when it has blood on it against the test strip or try to apply a smeared sample on the test strip. If you do not apply a blood sample to the test strip within three minutes, the meter will automatically turn off. You must remove and reinsert the test strip to restart the test procedure. If you find that the confirmation window is not filled with blood when the meter is counting, never try to add more blood to the test strip. Discard the test strip and retest with a new one. Step five, obtain an accurate test result in seven seconds. The result of your blood glucose test is shown after the meter counts to zero. This reading is automatically stored in the meter. Step six, remove the lancet. Take the lancet out carefully. Place the disc on a hard surface and push the exposed tip into the protective disc. 
The used lancet and the used test strip may be potential biohazards. Please discard them carefully according to your local regulations. Alternative Site Testing, or AST, means that people use parts of the body other than fingertips to check their blood glucose levels. This system allows you to test on the palm, the forearm, the upper arm, the calf, or the thigh with the equivalent results to fingertip testing. It is important to know that there are limitations for doing AST. Please consult your healthcare professional before you do AST. The advantage of alternate site testing is that you will not feel as much pain as at the fingertip. Fingertips feel pain more readily because they are full of nerve endings. At the other body sites, nerve endings are not so condensed. Food, medication, illness, stress, and exercise can affect blood glucose levels. Capillary blood at the fingertip reflects these changes faster than capillary blood at other sites. Therefore, when testing blood glucose during or immediately after meals, physical exercise, or any other events, take blood samples from your finger only. We strongly recommend you do AST only in the following intervals. In a pre-meal or fasting state, allow more than two hours since your last meal. Two hours or more after taking insulin. Two hours or more after exercise. Do not use AST if you think your blood glucose is low. If you are aware of being hypoglycemic. If your routine glucose results are often fluctuating. Or if you are pregnant. We suggest that before getting a drop of blood, rub the puncture site about 20 seconds before penetration. Stimulating blood perfusion by rubbing the puncture site prior to blood extraction has a significant influence on the glucose value obtained. Blood from the site without rubbing exhibits a measurably different blood glucose concentration than blood from the finger. When the puncture site was rubbed prior to blood extraction, the difference was significantly reduced. If you would like to obtain blood from a site other than the finger, replace the Lancet device cap with a clear cap. For more information, please read your owner's manual.